Hello guys and welcome to a new Steel Division video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you Loli vs Vohati in round 1 of the second community patch tournament. Today we are going to be seeing the map Point de Hoc and on the allied side Loli is using the 15th infantry and on the Axis side Vohati has chosen the 716th. Trying to win my heart with that one. So you might be wondering what happened to the original community patch tournament. Well I only had six replays that I wanted to record from it and I did manage to get five recorded and up on the channel. However the sixth, which was in fact the final, I unfortunately couldn't record because the mod was updated and it broke the replay. So that sucked. But hopefully you guys can forgive me and will enjoy the competitive commentaries to come from the from the second community patch tournament. So what is the community patch tournament? It is actually a tournament that is based on the community balance mod which can be found on the Steam Workshop. Make sure to check out the link in the description to see all of the changes to the divisions for yourselves. The idea is basically to continue balancing the game from where Eugen left off. But let's talk about how that affects these divisions. The 15th Infantry hasn't had any specific changes just yet with this mod. It is pretty standard as far as the 15th goes. The only changes that may affect the game overall though are stealth changes to AT guns. In general, AT guns now have more stealth, which means they are harder to spot. Which I think is fair, since usually when you're playing against good players, AT guns are very weak because they just get hit by RT almost as soon as they get spotted. So at least now they have a much better chance of ambushing than they do in the vanilla game. In terms of the 716th though, there have been some significant changes like extra veterancy given to the Lorraines. I already think the Lorraines are very strong, but making them even stronger definitely accentuates the strong points of the 716th, which I think is a good way of buffing them up to the same level of divisions like the 15th. Uh, the Opal Blitz Flakverling has been increased in veterancy. They've got some extra off map in phase B. They've also got access to some extra command in phase A. And finally, the LEFH 1419 has had its price reduced to 70 points, I believe. Let's have a look at some of the troops that are going down. So over on the side of Loli, we have a six pounder. There is also a honey and a couple of rifles. Further down, we see some command infantry in the command carrier. And on the bottom road, it's gonna be a couple more infantry uh, with the AT gun here. So I reckon AT guns in general will be seen more at the start than we're used to during this tournament due to the buffs overall to AT guns. And uh, getting a six pounder on target to an expensive unit like a B2 on the opposite side in terms of 716th could be very good. So the six pounder is gonna be looking for those sorts of kills, but it will obviously depend if Vohati decides to bring in that kind of armor. Churchill has also joined the center with a couple more infantry. These could of course be Bren Group. Uh, the ones with veterancy are more likely to be the rifles. Over on the side of Vohati, we have some Ostrupen and a Panzerstreck for the top side. Gonna be some Ostrupen and Panzerstreck for the top side road. Then we have a Pack 40 heading towards the mid accompanied by a command unit and the Ostrupen. There's also going to be another couple of Ostrupen heading that direction with an IG-18, another Ostrupen and the Panzerstreck there. Panzer 39 is going to be following that all up. Ostrupen and Panzerstreck for the bottom. So Vohati just looking to set up AT ambushes on all of the main roads that he isn't using and then has placed a larger force towards the center. Now it does look like this push will be held up quite a bit if the Churchill 5 can get on target because the Churchill 5 can potentially use a 
fire position trick in order to hit the pack 40 that is pressing the fire position key reversing just out of the 1200 meter range and firing to max range so that the splash damage from the HE hits the target. Panzerstrike does manage to kill an infantry squad before it unloads so nice job there from Vohati stops that a little bit of aggression on the bottom side overall he's actually briefly got himself a plus one at the start. Now the Churchill 5 is currently using fire position onto this hedgerow but since it's quite far to the right, the Pack 40 may be able to sneak into the tree line here and get a shot onto the Churchill before the Churchill fires back. With that being the case, it looks like the Pack 40 will be able to get a second shot, and if it's successful at killing this Churchill 5, it could leave Loli in a very sad spot indeed. The Pack 40 has been smoked off by the Grenfjörder, so no line of sight for the Pack 40 just yet. But it's going to be moving it down on the tree line in order to maintain that line of sight whilst currently blocking the shots from the command carrier and rifles here. It's a very smart move by Vohati to allow his Pack 40 to continue the aggression without having to be under fire by the Bren guns of the rifle squads. Panda 39 swiftly finishes off the command carrier and that is both the Churchill 5 and command carrier dealt with and the infantry are running for their lives. And with the advance of multiple Ostropen supported by an IG-18, this infantry could very well be in trouble. This MMG carrier can't really do much to stop the Panzer 39 from killing it if Vohati decides to press the Panzer 39 forwards with this infantry push in the middle. Grenfjord here going to be engaging these rifles and that's going to cause the Panzer 39 to get involved. IG-18 also stopping to fire, so those rifles will be pinned in no time at all. We see more infantry now coming in. With the 716th, they do get 100 points per minute in Phase A, and that can afford you 5 units of Ostropen. And you can see that's exactly what Vohati has brought in here. It looks like, in this case, it was an IG and Ostropen, and there's going to be another IG with a Panzerstreck for the mid. So it looks like it's going to be going for a double IG push in the mid with these Ostropen. Best bet for Loli right now is, I guess, a mortar carrier to take out the pack 40. And then maybe a bunch of Honey Stewarts would do the job. Because the Honey Stewarts would win against the Panzer 39s. Their machine guns would do a lot of damage against the Ostropen. But that is absolutely awful for Loli as he loses the six pounder before it unloads to the pack 40. You can see Vohati here making sure that he moves the pack 40 to a different location after firing it so if Loli does decide to use some of his artillery it will not hit the mark. IG-18 now uh, going to be engaging the rifles that have revealed themselves in this building Ostrupen were going to push through but forced back by the MMG carrier for now. Two star MMG carrier at this range can rip to shreds Ostrupen. And of course Vohati does not want that to happen. These Reki though they've walked into the wrong neighborhood. They're going to get taken out. Does reveal all three squads too lowly. But not much he can really do about it. The two inch carrier can fire away of course. But this has very limited HE, and I find 2-inch carriers not the best units for pinning down infantry. Yes, they can snipe units like the IG-18 and the Pack 40 but in general, you probably won't want to rely on a 2-inch carrier to pin anything down. And the Ostropen decided to push on through. They've managed to do a lot of damage to these rifles so far, and the command squad is already dead. So that's going to cause the last man to surrender in that squad. And the MMG carrier, alongside the 2-inch carrier fire, has managed to pin a lot of these Ostropen so far. So a great job to just hold that back, but this breakthrough is not good for Loli. That's going to give a plus 1 to Vohati, and he's going to start to build a lead. Loli, though, has managed to breach his honey on the top side. He noticed that there really wasn't much here defending, and has decided to push through. However, there are going to be Panzerstreck ambushes everywhere. It looks like Vohati definitely focuses on having plenty of those in his division. Probably the six in Phase A. 
Hand 39 now engaging the honey is going to hit the first shot. Very unlikely to penetrate the honey from this range. But I've seen stranger things happen. B2 would be a much better choice to fight something like a honey. Now the B2 is going to be called in for the center to support these Ostropen that have made a run forwards. But as you can see the honey ripping them to shreds. And this is definitely what I like to see. The honeys being used in a close infantry support role to rip apart infantry squads. It's what they can be really good for. The lethality on the 30 cows is actually pretty damn decent at close range. These rifles though, they're finding themselves pinned. And if they continue to be pinned, both could be surrendered since there is no command nearby. And the 39. Going to continue those shots. Maybe not. We'll have to be wary of an engagement with the honey. Looks like Vohati is well aware. Going to be now fast moving to find the surrender onto these rifle units. Since they don't have AT weapons, he can freely drive up to the rifles and not have to worry one bit. The honey on the top side. Looks like it did fall back. As the Panzerschrex have taken up position. IG-18, one of them has actually gone down. This IG though, managing to find and shoot at the 6 pounder. I believe that's actually a fire position command, so a very good micro there from Vohati to make that happen. Panzerstreck does find the kill onto the MMG carrier. Good job indeed with that. And that's going to allow his infantry to cleanly push through. Pack 40 still in position here. Has been pushed up slightly. We're going to take the shot at the honey, find the transmission damage. Lack of recon here, allowing the Pack 40 to get the ambush and with every single AT gun being slightly buffed in stealth recon's going to be more important than ever in these tree lines in order to spot something like a pack 40. Rifles are doing well to hold back the Ostrupen but Vohati seems to be making ground in many places now. He's starting to push on the bottom side. Panzer 39 hitting these rifles pretty hard. The Honey can deal with that at close range Six pounder may also be be able to move into position. But we'll have to wait and see if Loli decides to do that. It is currently a plus one for Loli because of the salient on the top side. But that could be rectified by a single Ostropen squad. It just depends on whether or not Loli can start to get value for money out of his units. Because so far, he really hasn't. He did manage to just kill a Panzer 35 on the top side, which is pretty nice. But in general, like a lot of his expensive units have died. Like the Churchill died here, the Honey died here, the MMG carrier went down, the Reki are already dead, the Command died, and so on. So Vohati definitely going to have a kill to death ratio lead in the game, even if he isn't quite scoring in terms of points just yet. But with that salient opening up, it is going to fall back in favour of Vorhati as another unit of infantry is surrendered on the bottom side. IG-18 is putting pressure onto the honey here. So the Panzer 35, or 39 sorry, is going to push around the corner and take its shots. At this range, it's way more likely to penetrate. So Panzer 39 just needs to land a couple shots on target and hope that it gets through. If it goes too far though, you might find that Vorhati exposes his Panzer 39 to the 6 pounder, but the Panzer 39 gonna do the job regardless. 6 pounder may also do so in order to trade back that kill. But without the Stuart here, the Ostropen will be king. They will be able to run down these rifles and kill off the 6 pounder at their own leisure. Meanwhile, in the center, these rifles are now completely surrounded. They will have to find their way back to friendly territory in order to avoid being pinned down too quickly. Panzerstreck coming in to this tree line. I'm not sure if Vahati really wants that to get too close to these rifles. Potentially for the surrender, but since it's only a one-man squad, I don't think that's going to happen. IG-18 still being hit by the 2-inch mortar carrier does manage to clean that up. The other IG-18 that was here was killed previously so managed to get rid of that one already. 
But that's both of the infantry support guns in the centre gone, which may sort of give Loli a bit of respite against the constantly advancing Osthrupen. So one rifle was taken out. The other two are going to be sitting in the trees just here. Trying to stop these Ostropen. At range though, rifles do suffer against Ostropen since Ostropen have an MG34 whilst the rifles only have a Bren gun. And the Bren gun with its 2 HE is pretty lackluster. The IG now pushing forward with the rest of the Ostropen. This 6 pounder is going to want to move out of that tree line sooner than later. We're seeing a Churchill 7 being brought onto the field. Now these are some very expensive purchases for someone who is quite far behind in the game at the moment, not only in ground but also in terms of kill-death ratio. And that means he's going to have to be very careful with these units and hopefully find a lot of cost effectiveness out of them. Now this Churchill is 180 points. That would have to kill a solid eight Ostrupen squads, nine Ostrupen squads, in order to pay itself off. That's quite a lot of squads. Now, of course, it could also try and kill the IG in the Panzerstreck, but the Panzerstreck is more likely to kill the Churchill in this terrain than the Churchill is a Panzerstreck. The B2 just casually chilling in the middle as the Ostrupen continue to hit these rifles. Mulhati looking for the surrender here. If he gets into the 100 meter range, he will be successful, but only going to try and run away. Not quite in time. Definitely did that a bit late. Now the Panzerhabitzer Lorraine coming in. That's going to be hitting the rifles and rifle leader here as they fall back. On the top side, Pack 37 has been purchased. Going to be engaging the Honey. Does have the 9 AP versus the 5 armor. Pretty significant. Hasn't found the kill just yet, though. Since we've moved into phase B, it looks like Vohati's going to be bringing in the Verframen. And he's keeping his infantry back here at the moment. Now, this is probably purposefully not unloaded because it's very likely that Vohati will try and make a play with the Verframen and then sort of fast move the infantry wherever he does so. So, for example, he's going to put a strike up here where he knows there's a bunch of units and then might push some units towards it to kind of take that ground and secure it afterwards. The Lorraine's also going to get involved. But let's see if this rocket strike actually hits the mark. It does indeed. Takes out the six pounder. Nicely done. And now all of that infantry moving up in that direction exactly as I predicted. The so pack 40 here currently holding fire. Has a hard time penetrating the frontal armor of a Churchill 7. So we'll have to be careful about revealing itself. But as soon as this Churchill gets into about 600 meter range, there's a decent penetration chance for the Pack 40, since it will have an extra 6 AP. So it'll be 19 AP versus 15 front armor, which will give it about a 40% chance of penetration. So here's the Italian infantry pushing on through. They're there to secure these buildings. I think Vohati might have liked to have let some of this infantry get to these buildings in order to secure those. But it seems as though the Lorraine did end up pinning down some of his infantry and is actually going to pin down all of his infantry there. That's a very dangerous spot to be in since one infantry squad rushing down this road could find the surrender of all four units right now. There's no command nearby. Uh, Vohati rushing his command unit over there to try and save those. Now we see an ME109 G6R6 coming in, accompanying a HS129B1. This is looking for the kill onto the Churchill 5. Can he find it? That is the question. Or is he going to go for the center? It looks like he is. This crocodile going to be hit very hard. The idea of the HS129 is not necessarily to kill the crocodile, but definitely make it fall it back since the pack 40 is in line of sight and will have plenty of shots on target to try and find the kill. If at any point this crocodile decides to show so side armor, the pack 40 will likely kill it. So that was an effective strike there 
from the HS129 if the Pack 40 can make it pay off. Good kill onto the Churchill 7 though. A tank that definitely didn't pay itself off. Looks like Spitfire Mark 9 going to be brought in to try and bomb the Pack 40, but got to be careful. He doesn't lose that to the ME109 G6R6, and that to me looks like Evac Winchester, which is a big mistake against a player like Vohati when he has an ME109 G6R6 in the sky. A much better choice in that case may have been to loop with the ME109 until you could afford another Spitfire to make that a 2v1. Of course, it does give your opponent time to do the same but it's the only way to really save a plane in that situation if you try and evac whilst an enemy fighter is already in the sky and then you could just be in trouble every single time so pioneer fiora have managed to move up here and support these pioneers and italian infantry and overall, Vohati has a plus three. So really nice Verflamen strike did allow him to take control of the top side of the map. And the mid, really good job well done by the Pack 40 whilst it was alive. Now the Crocodile just constantly being forced to fall back by the Panzer B2. With the track wheel damage though, there's no way for the B2 to try and surrender that potentially uh, since it will move very slowly regardless of whether or not it's on land or on the, the road sorry so here on the top side we see rifles and the six pounder and the honey they've been kind of stuck behind enemy lines since the advancement of these infantry units this does mean though that the rifles may find a kill onto the pack 37 which is a pretty good kill for a rifle squad but this honey, I feel like it should kind of just be brought back to support the infantry engagements nearer the road. Since on this top side, it's not going to be too helpful. The six pounder is pretty nice. If it's moved down, it could be used to ambush some of the units coming up the road. But as soon as that's spotted, I would not be surprised to see either the Verflammen or the Lorraine target it quite profoundly. So the B2 now coming up to support the infantry as it continues to push. These squads of Italian infantry have been chunked quite considerably though. Rifles here will not surrender. Rifle leader is in range. Rifle leader is going to attempt to fire the Piat. Is it going to get another shot off? It is. And that's going to cause a driver wounded. But the rifle leader now out of range. And the gunner still able to fire... But with the crocodile coming down the main road, the B2 could actually be in trouble if it doesn't continue to fall back. Meanwhile, on the bottom side, Austrian have snuck behind the Churchill 5 six pounder and rifles down here, which is giving Vohati even more ground to work with. Many of Loli's units have, are now stuck behind enemy lines, and that is really not a place you want to be in. The Lorraine providing fire on this area may cause this Churchill to be forced to surrender. And soon enough this six pounder will be spotted without doing very much at all. It did take out the Panzer 39 which did prevent a little bit of a phase A push. But other than that the AT guns really haven't done too much in this game. And well with the situation as it is Loli is going to surrender. So after 19 minutes and 40 seconds, Vohati is victorious in round one of the second community patch tournament. That basically says it all. The 1,520 kills to 650 losses for Vohati. Very strong kill to death ratio. You could see it amassing throughout the game and eventually it led to a point where Vohati could make a play like he did with the Verflammen without really losing ground elsewhere because he had been trading so efficiently across the entire map. So great job by Vohati in this game. In terms of the kills, the Honey did manage to kill one of the Panzer 39s, but these really didn't do too well in terms of killing off or even pinning down enemy infantry. The Churchill 7 died, killing only one Osterupen. And this Churchill 5 died, killing a flak filling and the Panzerstreck there. So all of the tanks just really flopping in terms of their use. I don't feel like 
Loney necessarily made any massive mistakes. He just allowed Vohati to get the advantage in certain situations, especially with the pack 40. Like having the Churchill 5 fire position at the tree line where the pack 40 was going to go was very smart, but making sure that it's reloaded so that it can match the fire rate of the pack 40 when it reveals itself is very important because otherwise the pack 40 will always win in that situation. In terms of losses, this pack 40 paying itself off nicely with the Churchill 5 kill, Churchill 7 kill, and the honey and 6 pounder that wasn't even unloaded. Panda 39 killing a honey. Really good job with that. Panzerstreck killing off a couple of these carriers is always helpful. Uh, Panzer B2 didn't do too much, uh, just kind of supported the infantry as it continued to push up. Uh, the double IG push though with the Austroop, and we've got to mention that because that's what allowed those Austroop to push so aggressively, having that support behind them. The Verflammen only scored a six pounder kill, but did cause uh, panic and allowed Vohati to collapse uh, Loli's front line. So great job with that. And the HS129 in the end, scoring a kill under the honey, but not much else. And the ME109 shooting down the Spitfire. So a pretty cut and dry game there from Vohati. Really well played, strong infantry micro. Really loved the smoke play with the pack 40 to make sure that it continued line of sight onto the Churchill without being seen by the other infantry. That was really, really awesome. And at the end of the day, I think Vohati's skill really showed. So props to Loli for giving it a go. But Vohati coming out on top in this one with a dominating performance with the buffed 716th. That's all from me for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this game and look forward to more games from the second community patch tournament in the future. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.